I'll show you uh, some ideas on habitat. Mackenzie's carries a lot of different kinds of habitat, so um, we'll show a few different things here. The artificial limb and the rock, uh, these are very lightweight. Even with the pieces with the rocks, they're very lightweight. All of the artificial limbs all have this uh, heavy inch and an eighth plywood that goes right through the limbs. This isn't for this particular piece, I don't believe. It could be. I don't think so. But anyway, uh, that's, that's what really gives them some strength. So you don't, you don't ever have to worry about anything giving out. And it also gives you uh, something good and solid to run your screws into for, for anchoring the animal on and putting your hangers on. So for the habitat, uh, this here's the vine that I used on that one. I used, used a pretty good chunk on that one. You don't have to use a whole thing, you can. Uh, these are all separately wrapped on. I'll take a piece of that off. I'll show you with just one piece. When I'm using these vines and roots, I like to uh, wrap them around the limb, go different ways with them. But it, I, I think it really adds a lot of depth to the piece. When you bring, when you bring the roots and the vines over the limbs, around them and, and cross out over the rocks. I think that really, really adds to it a lot. There's uh, quite a few other things we can do here. They also carry uh, little moss pads. I think there's like six to a package. These are flexible. They're really nice, easy to work with. I, I put them on with an air stapler and you can add, a, add some color to your piece that way just by putting a little bit of moss in there somewhere. Put it on the rocks and, and again with the a little bit of moss there on that rock and some vine or branch going over top of it. It really, really gives some character to the piece. So, I'll well, stay there. Um, we have some finer, some finer roots. Those add a little bit different look. And again, you can use all of this or you can use part of it. Wrap them around. You can spread them out. You get some. Things like that go in there, it really, really can add to your piece. Just, and then for color, the, the artificial uh, tree branches are really nice. Everything is wired. The different colors will, will give you a lot of different effects. I guess we have uh, more of a white oak on that finished piece over there. So here's an aspen. Uh, different colors will, will, like I say, will do different things, give you diff different effects. You don't have to use the whole thing. Again, they're all wired, so you can snip one off and just use one piece here or there if you want to. Just uh, give some character, do different things with that. There's a, a pin oak, same thing. Just one piece if you want to add some color here or there. Another effect that looks kind of neat depending on where the piece is going to be hung. Spread that out a little bit and you can even create you can even create a canopy over top of the piece by using one or more branches or even a barrier if you want to hide more of the wall that's behind it. So, so play around with the artificials and uh, use your imagination there and just have fun with it. That's, that's kind of a neat thing to play around with this stuff. So.